Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are. A week later, we're going to do another pour for you. I got my turntable out, as you can see, and my puppy pool, or baby pool, actually, um, because this is a 20 by 20 canvas, so pretty big. Uh, this is the one I did last week, and I'm going to be using the same gadget to do this one. So, there we go. You can see pretty how pretty that gold dried in there. And that isn't black. That is actually Prussian blue. <laughs> so it dries really, really dark. But I love the effects that I got from it here, uh, where it mixed with the white. It made like a light blue. So pretty. So, yeah, pretty happy with that one. I have trouble with my rounds sometimes for some reason. You'd think it would be an easier canvas to work on, but I don't know. I just seem to be cursed by it. All right, so here is the colors that we're going to do today. I like to put them on a tile and let them dry because when you add your Floetrol and your glue to your paints, you can't really tell what the true color is going to be. They definitely dry darker, and that's because of the glue, glue all and the Floetrol make them lighter in the cup. So never fear though, if you, you know, you put your full of troll and you think, oh my gosh, it's too light. It's not going to be that way when it dries. All right. So here's our gadget. And by the way, this is another collab video. I was getting around to that. Brian and Mona. <laughs> I'm doing a collab video with Brian and Mona. Um, so they're going to be doing the same thing, a little different sizes on the canvas, I think. But we're all doing the same gadget, which is by Brian. And you can get this. Uh, I'll put a link in my description box so you can go to his Etsy shop. And he has lots of, I just took it out of the water, so it's, it's leaking a little bit. I hope it doesn't affect things. I might have to pause and blow dry it a little bit. Um, anyhow, you can order a whole bunch of toys and gadgets on his channel. And I didn't use this one correctly the last time I did it, so I'm going to do things a little differently this time. But uh, pretty cool gadget. It's got holes, different levels that come out. It goes down in a spiral. So we're just going to pour each color a little bit at a time. Um, and I'm going to be right back because I'm going to blow dry this a little bit. There's still a lot of water coming out of it. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I should have done that last night so I had time to dry out. I forgot. So make sure when you're doing your gadgets, um, if you've got them soaking, which I recommend as soon as you're done with your pour, get them in a tub of water. Soapy water. Um, but make sure you get all the water out of them because it will affect your pour and your paint and everything else. So just a good idea to make sure it's all out. All right, so let's start. Um, I'm gonna put down a puddle of white. This is just my Artist Loft white. And I'm just gonna put down a puddle in the middle for it to sit on, and then if I need more um, afterwards, I'll put some around. So I'm just gonna set that down in there. And I really liked how some of that white showed up last time, so. Uh, I'm going to be doing that again. I'm going to put down, Mona uh, picked the colors this time, and she said something about Payne's Gray, but I'm really low on Payne's Gray, so um, I might put some on the outer edges. I don't know if it'll, it'll, if it'll mean anything in the end. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I think I want to start with my, this is Thalo Blue. I believe it's Artist Loft. Now last time I started down in here. This time I'm going to start up here because there's holes all along this as it goes down. So I'm going to start here and you can see hopefully that it's just flowing down. If you start up there. It goes down nicely. All right. And then we're going to go, I'm going to try and alternate light, dark, light, dark. Um, let's go with some of this 
color that I mixed up. It's a, like a seafoam bluish green. Probably more on the blue side, but I tried to get it as close to I, as I could to a seafoam green. Or a mint. I have these paints mixed a little on the thick side because I want it to keep my lines um, separated. So that's why they're I mixed them a little bit on the thicker side, like a ring pour, like you would do with a ring pour. And I did use my flow troll and my glue wall. Um, this color is Thalo Green. I was supposed to mix a green teal. So that would be a teal that leans more to the green side. So I put Thalo Green, um, Metallic Cobalt, and I think that was it. I think just those two. So the metallic cobalt to give, you know, has some nice um, metallic shine to it too. Some of the colors have metallic, some of them don't. So, all right, let's go with my, I did a gold and silver mix. So kind of a champagne gold. Um, I think that was the 24 karat gold. And then my uh, Arteza silver, I believe. I love watching it. I, sh I wish I had an overview so you guys could see it going down that cup. It's really cool. Hopefully you can kind of see it. All right. So we've got some gold going in there. And with these gadgets and cups and strainers, and you'll see your, your next color coming out when you put the next color on. It pushes it out. So I'm going to turn this around a little bit for you so you can see the back side. So we're still not getting it out of all of the holes. I'm not sure why. But I'm just going to keep pouring. All right, so that was the teal green. Uh, now I'm going to go with the last color, which is a teal, just a teal or a turquoise. I'm not really sure what the difference between teal and turquoise is, but I put in some of the um, cerulean blue, PBO green, blue iridescent, and... Um, what was the other one I put in there? There's three of them. Oh, and the turquoise. So. I'm pretty, putting a pretty good amount in each layer. So now you can see, see the gold coming out there on the sides because that blue is going to push that through. All right, we're going to start over. I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to put down some of that Payne's Gray on the outside of this. I'm going to channel my inner um, Heather Mater. <laughs> she does. She likes to do a lot of uh, rings around her pores. Oh, got something in that bottle. Hope it doesn't come out. All right. Just to give it some more flow space. And then let's start over with the blue. This was supposed to be a royal blue. Um, so, you know, the phthalo, it looks pretty wet. The phthalo dries pretty dark. I was kind of surprised. That's the phthalo blue right there. But um, with the lighter colors, I think it'll be good contrast. All right, so the phthalo blue, and then we went with the light seafoam green. Just want to say thank you to you guys. Um, I'm getting, if you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. And coming to watch or if you haven't subscribed please subscribe but uh, I am at uh, 917 I think so we're getting real close to the thousand and I'm gonna do something big for the thousand so something interesting I, I 
figured out or I saw with the last one I did is see how soft this puddle is um, and then how hard the lines are in this. I really liked that in the pink and brown one. Um, it was really cool how you got soft and hard together. I thought that was really neat. I don't know why it does that, but it does. It's kind of cool. I love all the gadgets Brian has. He has some really cool, cool gadgets. I have to order some more. I like his flower ones that you can do flowers with too. Those are really cool. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit easier with the champagne color because I have a feeling it's gonna take over if I don't. All right, so we did the gold and then we did the turquoise or teal. I think teal is supposed to be a little bit darker and a little bit, well, this is on the blue side, but I don't know. I just feel like it's supposed to be darker, but that's okay. This is the color that it looked like on the color swatch she gave us, so that's what I went with. Yeah, see what I mean about the gold taking over? It just really does that. These are going to be really pretty when I spin them out. And I'm probably going to be wrecking this a little bit too. Um, I'm going to wait until I spin it though. I'll spin it a couple times and then we'll see. I definitely think I can get, you know, at least a 24 by 24 in this baby pool. So I have one sitting over there. I'm going <laughs> to get it out and try it. I just have to decide. Um, these are level two canvases. Um, so I'm going to go one more round. Uh, so they're a little bit more on the expensive side. So I have, I always feel like I really need to uh, come up with something good for these since you spend so much money on them. Before I go any further, I'm going to put down, my paint is getting out to the edges of that puddle that I put down. So let's put some more down. corners while I'm here. Let's go ahead and put that all down. As you can tell, my canvas is not super level because the paint is coming off to the one edge. So I uh, can tilt it back the other way. Okay, so we got the blue in there. I know, I'm making you guys dizzy, I'm sorry. I'll quit spinning it. Um, blue, and then we went with the light. Sea foam. I'm still not getting anything out of this top one either, but I am getting more out of the other holes, so. I love what's going on right here between the soft and the hard. So pretty. Um, okay. Where are we at? The dark. I'm not seeing a whole lot of that, I think, because the gold is taking over. So I wanted to make sure I got a nice, good... Oh my goodness. The cups are getting slippery. My hands are getting slippery. And I'm dropping things again. <laughs> So what's new, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. My last name is Lustig, and I'm always saying I'm a klutz stick. <laughs> it just kind of goes. Not very much gold. We got enough gold. Oh, and you guys are going to see how cool the center is when I pull this gadget off, too. This, by the way, is called a, let me get it right, a spiral. No, wait a minute. Open bottom spiral petal pour cup. That's what it's called. Technical term. I said, Brian, that's really a mouthful. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Can you see the gray that's happening between the black and the white? I mean the paint's gray, I shouldn't say black. Interesting. I think because the white is a um, thinner consistency than the, uh, the paint's gray was, it was thicker. So I'm actually getting some, it's kind of cool texture to look in there. All right, where was I? I'm getting distracted. Um, the gold, after the gold, we did the teal. And this will be the last one. And I gave that a good dollop in there too. I'm gonna tilt this because I do not want it going towards that side anymore. I wanna wait till the cup drains. I'm gonna turn you guys off or pause you um, so I can let this cup drain a little bit. Okay, we're back. I didn't want to take it off without you guys. All right, here we go. I think there's still some paint in there, but I'm going to take it off anyway. So what I like about the open cup or the open bottom is that you end up with different uh, paints going on in the center there. So it makes for a real interesting center. Um, I'm going to drag Let me pop that bubble first. And I'm going to torch it a little bit just to get some of the air bubbles out. I don't want to get too much freckling, so. Oops, and I got a goober in my paint. Some people were saying I'm um, complaining about the, the artist loft white, and uh, there was a bad batch that went out. Um, I know they're saying you can you know, take them back to get a refund. I'm just working around it. There, there are some clumps in it, but nothing that's in my batch that's horrible. I just uh, stirred it up last night, let it sit overnight, and then gave it a good stir this morning just to, to get any. Uh, it was like the paint wasn't mixing up is what a lot of people were saying. So, And you can see how many goobers I have. And I don't usually have those. So I'm hoping in this part here where I have the white that I don't get a whole lot of uh, goobers going on. All right. Let's, uh, I think I want to add some of that lighter, the seafoam in that center. Just feel like it's... Uh, Lacking a little bit of color there. Um, I'm going to put you on pause just for a minute. My husband's home and I have to remind him that I'm in here filming. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, all right, so I put some uh, the darker that they love blue in there in the middle and some of the lighter in the middle. And we're still going to one side, so I'm going to tilt a little bit, get it back in the center before we spin. That uh, ring between the black, the Payne's gray and the white is so cool. It's probably not something, you know, and like um, that you really want to happen because it looks like the paint is separating, but it's just making a really cool ring around that, the white and the black. Super cool. Let's see if I have any more white. Get down here because it's, I don't want that uh, ring to fold over on itself. So that's another reason to spread out your paint so it has somewhere to flow to. Um, if I don't do that, then when I go to spin it, this this gray will fold over and we don't want that so let me just spread that out there okay um 
I'm trying to decide whether I want to wreck that center before I spin it where I added the paint and then pull it in. I don't really want this to look like a flower. Uh, I want it to be more abstract. So just, you know, thinking out loud what I want to do with that center. This, when you, you know, stopping and letting it settle and pulling your paint out to the sides kind of gives you some time to think about where you want to go with it. I think it's, I've got it spread out pretty good. I wouldn't even mind if I end up with some negative space on this one. Love the color combination. Good choices, Mona. Hey, go check out their channels if you haven't already. Um, they're both really great artists, lots of fun. And we're having fun doing these collaborations together. You know, we it takes almost a week to come up with talking back and forth what our color scheme is going to be, what our size is going to be. We kind of knew what gadget we wanted to use this time, so that worked out. All right, let's give this some a little bit of wrecking here, just to mix up that center a little bit. And I think I want to wreck through here too, just to break up some of those hard lines and soft lines. Oh, that is so pretty in here. It almost comes out like an open cup would come out on those soft edges. All right. Um, I think I'm going to leave you guys closed in um, to spin. I, I don't want to, if I pull you up, you're not going to be able to see it as well. So where is my, I think I want to, roll this a little bit more, but I don't want to do it crazy. All right. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to spin. And by the way, I have this sitting on top of another canvas that's 20 by 20. Um, Oh my gosh, I want to leave it right there because I love this section up here. I know it looks a little bit off kilter, but I'm going to give it one more spin. Hopefully I don't lose too much of that. I'm just going to do a gentle spin, and I hope I've gotten enough paint off of here. I think I need to go back the other way, too. I really like that that strip up there. I just don't know if it goes with the rest, whether I should leave it or not. It'd be good to get you guys your input. But out there in YouTube world, unless I do a live, I can't hear what you guys say. You can tell me in the comments though. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of it because now it's half on and half off. So I'll have to remember that though, that the paint's gray and the white did that. It was really cool. Um, I think I see a couple goobers that I don't like. Yeah, a big goober. Wow. Okay, let's get that off of there. Anything else? Yep, got one here. Let me noodle with this a little bit in there. Okay, let's give it another spin. Let's get that corner off of there and widen up some of those lines. Ooh, pretty. I like that a lot. Love those colors. We've got almost a purple that's going on here. Must be with some of the white and the uh, phthalo blue. Got some cool cell action going on. That was from the open bottom cup. So that's cool. Let's 
get that. I got another goober over here. Get that off. All right. Wow, really pretty. Should I keep spinning? I don't know. I've got one white corner, but it doesn't really bother me much because I like how the I kind of like it in this orientation where that's in the upper right hand corner and I kind of like how that section is going up there. I think I want to um, do some more noodling with it. Just messing around and modifying a little bit. I love this area right here. It's just beautiful. You guys will see it when I bring it down in for a close-up. I'm not going to torch again, because if I torch, I'm going to get a whole mess of white freckles. I can already see there's a there's a lot of bubbles, but if you leave them alone, some of them will come up, but most of them will just pop on their own and not really affect anything. If you torch, you just get, it just is a mess, so... I don't want to do too much of this because I really love it the way it is, but I just want to mess up and swirl some of those harder lines that are there. Just give it some design. I've got a huge puddle of gold going on here, so I'm going to pull in. some of this blue green into that gold. I just try to follow what's already there so that it uh, makes it look a little bit more organic. The only thing I'm not real sure about is this middle. So let's pull in some of those lines and accentuate what's already there just to make it a little bit more exciting. Do some of that here too. I'm just using the blunt end of my skewer. When you spin, uh, some of your lines get a little wobbly. So it's okay to go back in and just give them a little bit of dimension. Okay. I'll probably play with this some more when the camera's off, but I don't want to do too much more because I really like all the organics that are going on. In fact, I think I'm going to stop there. I like the mixture between, uh, you know, frilly and organic. It just is really pretty. And I think that made that center more interesting. So let me um, 
wipe my hands off and I'm going to pause you guys and I'll bring you down in for a close up so you can see everything that's going. Okay, here we go. Those are those cells I was talking about that I got from uh, the open bottom, open cup. It's like an open cup. There's my one white corner. It's kind of interesting though. There's some stuff going on in there too. Really pretty, all those colors. I hope I don't regret spinning it out a little bit more, but I just really liked where it was. Look at that, isn't that pretty? That gold shimmer going over everything. So cool. I have to really <laughs> reach to get that corner over there. And remember, those dark colors are going to dry dark. So, all right, guys, that's your video for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. It was fun. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we get to that thousand and we'll have a really good uh, giveaway. I have something in mind. So take care. Have a great week. Stay safe and well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.